What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So wait, let me plug out my charger. All right, so y'all got a first card out, and it's the food card, and it speaks about you You can eat whatever you want. Um, it's about, you know, it's not necessarily how much you're eating, but it's what you're eating that is allowing you to just feast on things, all right? Um, health as well. So this is something about your body, all right? You looking good and you're eating high vibrational foods that is going to allow you to be high vibrational too, all right? It says I can. So a lot of people can like, ask you how do you eat so much and not gain no weight or how do you eat so much and you gain weight in all the right places all right for a lot of you guys you are gaining weight in all the right places because of what you're consuming all right it's giving like your body is going through a transformation because of what you are consuming all right and it's looking good on you okay it's also giving you know, you eating right now. Like, you eating in life. Like, um, that's like a term of being very abundant, all right? And your finances and connections and um, your resources, all right? It's like, you eating right now. You eating food. You eating, you eating fruits. And, you know, you are what you eat. So, baby, you giving real sweet. You giving real, like, peaches and cream, baby, all right? You giving real, real fruity, <laughs> okay? You are what you eat and health is wealth. All right, so a lot of you guys are very wealthy right now. All right, eating from the fruits of your labor. All right, I'm talking about it's raining abundance. All right, there's food all around you. All right, God knows that once you plant a seed, it's 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 to feed other people. All right, so there's a deep connection with Mother Earth. There's a, there's a there's a there's a sense of respect when it comes to giving back. All right, when 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 God gives you a blessing. All right, this is enough food and prosperity to, to feed the masses around you right now. All right, so this is about like, you know, health is wealth. Energy, all right, having that source of energy being put into your body, all right? It's not necessarily, you know, how much you are consuming something. It's what you are consuming. The reason why... You know, you are being highlighted like this, so abundant, so fruitful, all right? It's because you're taking the time out, all right, to see what your body needs. You know, this is our car. This is our vessel. You know, we need certain foods to expand and open our third chakra, all right? There are, you know, food is medicine. I see you are, you know, eating to live now. You are no longer living to eat. You are eating to live. And I feel like a lot of you guys never felt better, never felt like this before. You feel better than ever. All right, you eat a lot. And I see a lot of people like, oh, this girl always eating. <laughs> All right, never fucking gaining no weight. Or how the fuck they stay like that? You hear me? You are what you eat. All right, and you are abundant. All right, so you're going to eat abundantly, okay? Everybody around you, all right, will be eating. All right, this is the fruits of your labor coming in by the dozen. All right, those seeds that you've been planting, all right, is now harvest season. All right, so you eating because you can. All right, you eating ice cream because you can. You hear me? That's not affecting your body. All right, because of how much other good stuff you consuming. That when it, when you when it's time to indulge in pleasure, you don't you don't have to restrict yourself. What the fuck is a diet if your life? Consist of consist of putting good energy in your body. All right, being able to to fast when you know you ain't eating too well. You know what I'm saying? Like I I promise y'all. All right, I eat what the fuck I want. I eat what my body tell me to eat because if it was something like they're already putting shit in our food. All right, so we can't really run from it. But that's why prayer. All right, a strict routine. All right, when it comes to hygiene and, 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 and health is, is needed. All right, this is about you eating every motherfucking thing because you know how to fast. You knew that if two days or three days you've been eating nothing but shit, you hear what I'm saying, hamburgers and all that, you know how to fast. So you don't, you no longer have to deprive yourself 
of anything because of the commitments you made. You hear me? You eating right now because you can. You eating everything right now because you can. You know, you, you, you not worried about your shape. All right, that shit is perfect. You hear me? All right, you all what you eat right now. All right, and it's looking like a baddie. All right, it's looking, it's giving baddie. Okay, it's giving healthy. It's giving happy and whole. You hear me? It's giving abundant. So let's tap in. Remember y'all, that your source of energy comes from what you eating. All right, what you intaking. Archangel Michael, when I like my, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy. All right, look, the seven of cups, so many options. All right? You don't have to worry about going to get a drink. You know you don't drink too much. All right? God never said don't do nothing you don't like. It's doing in moderation. It's having discipline. Right now, you can literally drink whatever you want, eat whatever you want. All right? Because there's a certain routine and habit, all right, that you have made for yourself and that you go by when it comes to pleasure. All right? Not depriving you. Is, you don't have to deprive yourself of nothing because of the habits you have. All right? Literally, going to the bar and buying it out. All right? <laughs> All right? This is a whole lot of options right now. You got options, of abundant amount of options that is feeding you, that is energizing you, that is allowing you to have fun. It's like this shit is an amusement park. You know, you get tickets you win tickets, you know, these are like your winning tickets, you know, this is like the blessings and the, the options and the opportunities that you have because of you winning and passing tests, all right, and with those commitments, all right, life is not all about fucking passing tests, life is not all about fucking getting karma and all negative karma, all right, this shit about playing, you know, you work hard, you play harder, all right, so you got a lot of options here. All right, you got, a, you got the lucky tickets. Tickets, plural, with an S. All right, you literally out here thugging and bugging. I'm seeing you eating everything. I'm seeing you going out, you drinking. Um, This can even be healthy stuff, all right? But this is like, you are the prize. All right, you are the prize. So when you are the prize, all right. Also, I'm hearing no shame in your game. So I'm picking up like if you on a date, all right, you not trying, you gonna eat your food. You know how some women they get on a date and they be shy. All right. I'm seeing you busting down. <laughs> I'm seeing you literally busting down all the food. You hear me? It's something about no shame to your game. It's like you know you all the prize. All right. You, you, you know, you're not an option. You are the reward. Okay, so that's a certain confidence you got in yourself. That's a certain level of self-esteem that has been maximized. All right? For real. And with these foods and this energy source that you are intaking, all right, is, is fueling you. It's giving you fuel. You know how a car needs gas? All right, your energy is all the way, all the way there. All right, you having fun with life. All right, you have reached a point in your life of what you are in taking. Very, very disciplined on what even even the conversations you are in taking, right? Even the, the, the communication, even the relationships you are in taking. All that is, you know, a part of your body. You know, sleeping with people, um, giving your energy to people, gossiping. All right, this is all about healthy intake. All right, where you got this is this is fun. All right, there's a prize here. Oh, look at the energy. All right, so this is this is oh. All right, so uh, this is karmic energy. All right, um, we're gonna find out who this devil is. But every level, there's a new devil, all right? And when you are eating right, all right? When you are solid, 
I'm hearing strength, like you getting more solid, baby. You hear me? When you are, when you have, excuse me, when you have improved your health in a way that you not, you know, you not, you not fighting your demons no more. All right, you know how to protect yourself and your energy with a with a with a high vibrational aura and, and diet. All right, I'm hearing you are on a strict diet of comics right now. All right, yeah. All right, you are on a strict diet of comic energy right now. Is what I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm saying. I'm I just about to say and what I'm saying. All right, y'all like my everything's like yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm on a strict diet of comic energy right now. All right, no taking that and com that comic energy. All right, any type of thing. This could even be an addiction to to eating out. All right, unhealthy things. This, this can be an addiction to just intaking gossip or having certain people around you that don't cook or that's not even giving a fuck about, you know, food and, and health. All right, but you are on a strict diet of karmic energy. You don't want nothing to do with that, all right? And the more, all right, you commit to that diet, all right, of, of cutting out karmic energy in your life is the more you're going to eat. Is the more prosperity in your seeds continue to grow. All right, past the heavens. All right, the more it's harvest time. Okay, this could be negative thoughts. This could be, you know, going through depression. When you when you depressed, you start eating. Fucking everything in sight. All right. This is this is how the enemy works. All right. Literally, a form of overeating is a fucking addiction. Anything that you do excessively is an addiction. Shopping is an addiction. All this shit is an addiction, not just drugs. All right, you no longer being depressed and eating like a fucking slob. All right? You no longer find it cute, you know, doing those things. I, I feel like you, 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 you have so much options right now because of the diet. You on a strict diet of bullshit. You on a strict diet of karmic energy. All right, you on a strict diet of negative thoughts and you know what you are consuming right now. And the more you are so fucking, um, you are so dominant in what you are consuming and what you not. The enemy can't get in. You hear me? The enemy can't get in. All right, the negative thoughts can't get in. All right, the obsession, the jealousy can't get in. All right, um, the temptation, you know, being tempted to want to eat certain things or you going on a fast. All right, when we go on a fast, especially when you're trying to learn, you are going to get tempted. That's how you get stronger. So right now, nothing can tempt you right now. Whatever that was tempting you or trying to alter or persuade you, all right, and knock you off your discipline, all right, it can't. It can't get through, okay? Literally, it can't get through, all right? You done committed to a certain habit, all right? Seven of Cups, a lot of options. Look, the Five of Wands. So, this could be... This could be others. I'm hearing others. I'm also hearing watchers. All right. Um, these are the people that were used by the enemy to try to tempt you off your con consuming of, um, you know, high vibrational things. All right. These could be people in your life that literally try to make it challenging. All right. Try to make it challenging for you. Um, it says commit. To a certain lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? To commit. I'm getting a, this is a lifestyle for you. All right. There were certain people, but again, you have, you know, if karmic energy wasn't there to make it challenging for you, then how will you, all right, be strong enough to pass certain tests? How will you be strong enough in your faith, in your commitments, all right, to not fold when times get tough? All right, so we need, you need, this was this, this was, this karmic energy, this five of wands, this battle, this, this challenge, all right, that was coming from other people, um, it was put in place for you to, for you to practice. You hear me? It's nothing wrong with a little bit of practicing, all right? It's nothing wrong with a little bit of competition. 
Okay, Spirit, give me more of this Father of Wands. Look, the Four of Wands. All right, so. All right, so these are people that wasn't permanent in your life. All right, these are people that were only put in your life to test you, all right, and to challenge you, all right? They were semi-permanent people that had, that were only there for a reason, okay? Um, this is people you got tatted, all right, and getting a cover-up, all right? These are people that you literally made or had certain plans, all right, that that you see that, that that's not what it was and what, whatever, it, it won't never be that. Okay, the Four of Wands is building, you know, healthy foundations, all right, connections, all right, healthy bonds, all right, making beauty, all right, testing the waters, all right, I see you guys covering up a lot of tattoos or, you know, removing yourself or removing people that were supposed to be permanent in your life, all right, that y'all don't even resonate no more. All right, the seven of wands is here. All right, so a lot of you guys are on a strict diet of fucking people. All right, and pessimistic behavior. You hear me, y'all? Y'all are. It's like, er, where you think you're going? All right, there is a certain limit um, that people have with you. I mean, I, I'm seeing your tolerance level is really short when it comes to stupidity and pessimistic behavior. You're really prioritizing your energy right now and that source of energy. There's a lot of people that want to siphon. There's a lot of people that want to take from your source right now because it, it's a lot. You're, you're, you're very fruitful right now, all right? And when you fruitful, right, it, does, it don't only attract butterflies and bees. It attracts flies. It attracts moths, bitch, all right, that just want to siphon from you. Okay, literally. Okay, so there's a sense of on guard right now. There's a sense of protection when it comes to not allowing people in your energy. All right, you have a strict list of people that you deal with right now, and and the, I'm just hearing others. These are others. I don't know. These are people. You know, you never forget people when they did you dirty at your lowest. These are people that tried to challenge you and felt like you were competition at your lowest. Let's talk about it, all right? These were people that literally wanted to challenge you and make it so harder for you to get through a situation, all right? That, it, this is crazy. This is the people. They challenge you at your lowest. They felt like you was in competition when you was at your lowest. And that only tells you how abundant you really were. And that these people weren't supposed to go beyond their current status in your life. All right? They had to stay on a certain side. All right? They are no longer on your side. These people have chosen a side and they need to stay there. Okay, so that's what it was. These people made it challenging and, and, and look at you as a challenge, as your lowest, all right? And that showed you who they really were now that you eating. You know what I'm saying? Now that you, you, don't, you don't have to deprive yourself of nothing, all right? Because this energy cannot get in no more. All right, these people no longer have a permanent position in your life and for a lot of you guys they thought they did all right this is not a tattoo this is a henna all right henna washes away in my, my motherfucking three weeks you hear me so these people literally thought that whatever that they did to make it challenging for you they thought that that was going to make their position permanent in your life all right and didn't realize that all it did was show you all right who you were and who they weren't. 
all right? So they did not have a permanent position in your life. Literally, they were meant to show you that they were not going with you on that next level, all right? So the permanent position that these people thought they had because of making it challenging for you, literally didn't realize they were semi-permanent, okay? Literally. It was like, you know, you use the ink is like, you use a certain ink. You use a, so you use them for a certain reason. You knew that you knew what they were doing. All right, you knew t to yourself like whoever these devils was in your life. You knew that you was you. This wasn't your life. So the people that thought that that was permanent in their life is I was actually semi permanent. All right, and they thought they held a higher title than they did. Okay, literally. Spirit, who is these people? <laughs> Who is this devil energy in these five of wands? Look, the four of swords. All right, these were people you were, you was praying for. Oh my gosh, and that's why you always be blessed. All right, there were people, devils, in your energy. All right, that you were actually praying for. All right, and that's why you are being rewarded like this. This is why you, this is why you in this energy, bitch. This is why you in the seven of fucking um, cups having options. This is not no illusion. We not, we all got to be a little delusional to get what we want. All right, these were people that you was actually praying for. All right. And because they knew your power and manifesting. Because they knew how powerful your connection with the divine was. They try to make it hard. Or they try to make it seem as if things, it, it, you know, like these people. These were people that she was praying for. All right. These were people that she was fucking praying for. All right. And for a lot of you guys, you prayed they ass up out of your life too. All right, because if the prayers are working, all right, if the prayers are working for them, you already know the prayers against them are going to work too when you got to protect yourself against them. All right, so for a lot of you guys, a lot of people fortune stop. All right, and you will see that over the past, next couple of weeks. All right, the way you are handling things are getting you leverage, okay? The way you pray people in your life, all right, is the way you pray them the fuck out. All right, four of swords. All right, your prayers move mountains is what I see. Okay, literally. Your prayers is the one that's giving you so much options and not allowing that devil energy in, that temptation. All right, trying to feed off of you. All right, yeah, look, you've been getting to work. Hermit card. All right, you've learned. So these people, um, they, they were semi-permanent in your life. Spirit, um, give me more on this energy. Who is this devil? All right, the Herma again. All right, so this is somebody that you know. This is somebody. This is somebody I want to apologize all right, for some of you guys, you could have had a child with this person. All right, um, this is somebody I want to do right now. <laughs> all right, this is somebody I want to do right now and ain't hermit energy. They want to, they want some sort of soul searching. All right, they're figuring out that you, there's some sort of rightness about you. I'm hearing righteousness. Can we get spirit? Give me more of this hermit energy. Look, the two of cups. Somebody, somebody literally is wanting a commitment. All right. Um, for a lot of you guys, this is a new contract. Um, this could be congratulations on your house or moving in with somebody or closing doing business with somebody. All right, but this is a successful contract. All right, this is new. All right, this is new. Um, this person and they hermit energy know what they want. 
So whoever was in this five of one energy that was making it challenging, they can no longer get past. Um, uh, no, no longer past their or beyond their current situation with you. They're, they're stuck in the past. And this is a new contract. All right. With somebody that you may have been praying for something. You may have been praying for a project to be successful. You might have been praying for a contract to be approved. You might have been praying for somebody that is equally successful and compatible with your family values and your finances, all right? And literally, what you prayed for is what you got because you realized that these people were only semi-permanent in your life. You hear me? This is a signed deal. This is a closed deal. Y'all closed the deal with something. All right, and this hermit energy, this person is of some sort of title. They have a title in your life. Wow. Anything else on this Two of Cups? So again, only in taking healthy relationships. All right, resourceful relationships. You know, Taking in healthy foods, um, healthy conversations, like, you know, look, ooh, bitch. Ah, this is a king of cups. All right, this person is ready. You got somebody you pray for that is ready for a commitment, that is ready to, to be in a divine feminine energy, that is ready to show they love for you, that is ready to listen to you, that is ready to communicate, all right, and act on they love ace of wands, ace of wands is being, an uh, action being taken, all right, that could be even a conversation that you had with somebody where somebody is really liter uh, literally considering going further with you, all right, this is a very private relationship, I see, all right, this is a very private relationship, seven of wands. All right, and a whole lot of money is being made. All right, a whole lot of money is being made in this relationship. That's what I see, whether it's a work um, project or a work collaboration or a union. All right, y'all family goals, y'all compatible in y'all finances and work. All right, this is somebody that you, you gave healing to. This is somebody that needed your assistance and checking on something like um something was wrong with them they could have been going through stress they could have been going through money issues they could have been going through problems and their other relationships but you needed to go deeper and i feel like with the time that you took as the queen of cups to go deeper the queen of cups is a tea leaf reader so whether you read cards whether you are an intuitive whether you you are you interpret dreams with whether you speak prophetic words and wisdom all right you are somebody that that holds a lot of influence in their life when it comes to making a judgment call on their emotions you are somebody that is encouraging this person to follow their emotions and forgive themselves and to do better um you are somebody that is that is being real all right you are somebody that is playing a big role in their healing and that is taking the time to do so all right for a lot of you guys also i keep picking up you guys are going to be switching careers to like doing something with dogs that is like um like a vet all right but um yeah that's what i see the person that this is at one point you you was a healer or you were assisting them and somebody might be falling in love with you all right, because they see, and then this person got, is very fruitful. They're not taken away from you. All right? And I feel like now this is your new season. This is a new relationship, a new connection. All right? Where it's balanced, it's compatible. All right? And it's going to be fun. All right? It's going to be filled with a lot of amusement and options. There's so many options. There's so many choices um, that you guys are going to have when it comes to pleasure. There's, there's no depriving of nothing in this relationship and I feel like you were a main factor in teaching this obviously you have enough self-love and all that within yourself to teach it as the queen of cups all right so um yeah somebody getting to work this is a whole lot of work energy too all right a whole lot of influence a whole lot of happiness okay literally somebody learn oh the king and queen of cups 
Somebody listening to you. This is a peer. Y'all, somebody is taking your advice. You're not just you're not just talking to a brick wall here. Okay? Somebody is finally um asking for your assistance. All right? Um wow. Yeah, so this is new love for y'all. For real when you literally I see you buying, buying land and moving in and really this is a real this is connection that is um meant to be I just heard. This is a connection you pray for after um, eliminating the semi-permanent people in your life, all right? That literally made it challenging for you at your lowest, all right? This person that's coming in is as Herman Engie, so he's also into prayer, all right? So y'all are compatible in y'all finances. Y'all are compatible in y'all love. Y'all are compatible in y'all creativity. Y'all are compatible in y'all responsibility. And y'all compatible on y'all spiritual journey. All right, he wants to learn from you. He feels he's he's literally this. He respects you. All right, so this 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 this, this might be an unexpected relationship that's very private again. That is very fruitful. All right, because you was there for them. You didn't just try to um, put a band aid on something. All right, you took time to see how they felt about something to see. You know how can you assist? Look, damn. Let me tell you the lover's card. This relationship coming together, all right, is going to be supported. All right, there's a lot of people. You know how when people learn about two people coming together and they like that they just fit each other, like they just look good with each other. Well, that there's going to be a lot of people that are supporting y'all. All right, literally, there's a lot of helping hands. There's a lot of new memory that's being made, y'all. All right, so this is good energy, y'all. Look, y'all might even have a child, or y'all might be connected by a child, or this might be a friend of a friend, or something like that. You hear me? But there's a lot of helping hands, even with their creativity. This person might be a little immature, too. They might not, they might need help with expressing themselves or processing um, how, how they feel. Okay, also. So, y'all, that's what I see. This weekend's gonna be it's gonna be filled with new things. Cause you have the magic tickets to your life and your dreams. Alright, spirit. Um, what's the closing out messages? Pack your bags. This is a new life. Somebody feels like it's less baggage where they're going. Like, if y'all moving in together, it is less baggage with you. Um, it is motivating. It is inspiring to start new. Um, it's, feel, it's very encouraged. Uh, so, y'all, pack y'all. Pack up y'all bags for somebody. You let somebody move in with you. All right? But this is a new life. This is a ten of wands that's, that's going down the hill, not up the hill. Things are more smoother, are more easier, are more light together choices, options. All right, free will. All right, congratulations. Yeah. All right, that's so cool.